you can build a portable LED fidget game with NeoPixels and CircuitPython. This project uses an ANO rotary encoder to move an LED along a 24 NeoPixel ring. As you scroll the encoder wheel, the LED moves around the ring. You can press and hold the center button to go into gamer mode where you can play an LED chase game. We think it's a fun way to fidget with NeoPixel LEDs and an iPod classic like scroll wheel. All of the electronics are housed in a SnapFit 3D printed enclosure. Powered by the Adafruit Feather RP2040, the ANO rotary encoder connects via STEMIQT, making it easy to build. The code is written in Adafruit CircuitPython using the NeoPixel library. With the Seesaw library, you can control rotary encoders and buttons over I squared C. In the code, the directional buttons are used to change the color of the LEDs while the center button lights up the whole ring. If you press and hold the center button, it activates the game mode. We think this is an interesting way to interact with NeoPixel LEDs using rotary encoders. The enclosure can be 3D printed without any support material using your favorite PLA filament. The Feather RP2040 and ANO rotary encoder breakout are secured with machine screws while the NeoPixel ring snap fits into the circular grid. For a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project, be sure to check out the guide on learn.adafruit.com. The 3D printed circular grid isolates each NeoPixel, keeping the light inside each segment. A 3D printed diffuser and clear PLA softens the super bright LEDs and snap fits into the grid. A CNC piece of black LED acrylic offers a soft and even glow that looks really nice when fully illuminated. We had a lot of fun putting this project together and hope you're inspired to use CircuitPython for your next electronics project. 